good morning and welcome to a day in the life and call. My name is Sarah. I am a medical doctor, a junior doctor. I'm in bed right now, but that's fake news because I have actually woken up <laughs> and put on my gym kit. I thought I would just do a little vlog of my day because I'm on call today from 9am till 10pm, so a 13 hour shift. Um, I'm a locum SHO, so um, a senior house officer. Uh, and I'll be working on acute medicine, which I love. What's the time now? It's probably a lot later than I anticipate. It's half six. I did wake up at 20 to six and just kind of read my Bible and chilled. I'm going to try and get to the gym before work. So if I go now, I should be able to get in a good hour long session. Then I'll come back, get ready and go to work. I just, I just really felt like I needed to like pause and pray and read my bible and just like i don't know i've just been i haven't been like feeling bad or anything i think i've just been like rushing and kind of overdoing things and not pausing enough and rushing my quiet time with god in the morning as well even that felt rushed to be honest um but it just makes a big difference like suddenly you just wake up and you feel a bit crappy and it's like wait i need to pause i can't just be go 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 i, I really need to pause and just just be loved <laughs> for a moment, for a moment, forever. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym now and do a super quick session. I'll probably eat a banana now before I go. In fact, I'm gonna have a coffee as well before I go. Um, so yeah, welcome to my day in the life. Let's do this. <laughs> So while the kettle is boiling over there so noisily, I'll just show you my outfit for the gym. So this is an Adidas um, crop top or bra, sports bra that I got the other day. These cycling shorts I've literally had for about 10 years and they are really good quality. Like 10 years, are you having a laugh? They're just they're great. Then I've got this Nike um, kind of windbreaker jacket I guess well I don't even know but also I've had it for about 10 years there was a time when I tried buying cheap workout gear it's just not worth it like how has this lasted for like 10 years and I wash it I'm pretty sure I've tumble dried it <laughs> um so yeah people always ask me where it's from as well when it's a bit less creased and I feel bad because I say Nike but like Nike 2009 <laughs> So yeah, that is my outfit for the gym. Nothing very fancy. <sighs> Hurry up, coffee.
So really quickly, this is my outfit of the day. This is just the most comfortable dress ever. Some pretty boring shoes, stethoscope, my badge is somewhere. Um, also, very importantly, I can roll the sleeves up on this dress because obviously I will be physically treating patients. Um, I've done a little bit of makeup. It's probably not my best work, but honestly, you've seen worse. Um, but yeah, I am going to eat my breakfast on the way. I've just made like two eggs, some toast and cut up a pepper, put it in the toast with some cream cheese. I described this so randomly, basically like an egg sandwich. <laughs> not the best, but also not the worst. I just need to kind of feed myself after that session, um, but I don't want to be late. So I'm going to eat it on the way. So yeah, ready for work. And then I've just got my packed lunch in here, so banana, frozen meal prep, and some more fruit. Hey, so I'm in work now. We've had our little handover, sorting out where everyone will be working. I will be on the wards, which means that I will just be reviewing sick patients on the wards rather than clerking patients who are just coming into hospital unwell off an ambulance or something. The ward's quite variable, sometimes it can be really busy and um, if you have you know a lot of arrest calls or a lot of sick patients. But yeah, it's not too bad. I will be carrying around my bottle of water with me, which hopefully I won't lose on a ward somewhere um, to stay hydrated because I think the main thing, well not the main thing, but one thing about being on call is that sometimes if it gets really busy you just don't look after yourself, you don't eat, you don't drink. So I'm just going to try and lug that thing around with me and be drinking consistently. Stay hydrated. Hello, so it is quarter past two. Um, I'm just about to have lunch, my food is heating up now and it's been alright, it's been fairly busy, um, drips and jabs kind of more than anything, just like little jobs and things. So what being on call means is that you're basically the point of call, so you're kind of the emergency on call doctor, so a nurse will call you if a patient is sick or if they need anything um, and there have been a few sick patients, I've just seen someone who I think has bowel obstruction. I'm pretty sure, just waiting for the scan results now. Um, there's a lot of bloods to chase. So there's still lots to do, but none of it is clinically urgent. Um, so I'm just pausing for lunch now to have a break because I'm so hungry. I did have some chocolates on the ward um, because it's been, what, six hours since I last ate. I don't like to go more than five hours without food, which sounds dramatic, but yeah. I do actually really enjoy it though. I just love problem solving. Like the patient who I just saw was actually someone referred with shortness of breath. And I was like, no, I don't think that's the main issue. I think the main issue is that the bowels haven't opened in five days. It has a tumor in the descending colon. So yeah, um, I quite like that kind of type of work and almost detective, I guess, um, and then putting the plan in place and starting it, seeing it, you know, seeing how it all goes. So yeah, we'll see. Just gonna have a quick lunch and then back to the ward. <laughs> My lunch is so small, literally just some roast veg and some turkey mince stew, which is great, but it's just one of the preps that I do for a day when I'm not doing a lot. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna go and get another meal a bit later on, but I'll just eat this now, seeing as I've already heated it up. Oh, I'm done. Done. It's been a long day. My shoes, my shoes are new, as bad as they look. My shoes are new and they were hurting. They were quite tight on my toes. And I really do kind of believe in the saying that you're only as happy as your feet are because I was absolutely fine. I was really enjoying my day and then my feet started to hurt and literally all I wanted to do was go home. Um, it is a long shift. It's 13 hours. That is a long shift. But, you know, pretty normal. I'm ready to go home. I'm tired. Like, I really want to stop somewhere and get some food on the way. So today I've eaten breakfast banana, lunch, fruit, a peach and an nectarine I think. Then five like roses chocolates that were on the ward. And that's not a huge amount but it's 10pm now but I have to be up at 6am 
because I'm in I'm on band tomorrow I'm leading worship at church so um the thought you know I need to go to bed right now I need to be asleep right now to get my eight hours um like I personally think I should eat dinner I know I should eat dinner but I want to go out and get some kind of sweet treat because I'm tired and want to feel sorry for myself even though I really don't need to feel sorry for myself but yeah work was good work was really good I quite like being on call I quite like being called to sick patients like I saw quite a few sick patients I actually saw the highest sodium that I've ever seen someone with a sodium of 184 which was very high um very sad actually but they're on the right treatment we didn't have one arrest call today we didn't have one single crash bleep um which i'm yeah obviously i'm glad about but yeah that was interesting because usually there's at least one here's such a mess i'm so sorry an arrest call is basically when someone's heart stops or someone's really sick and has a high news score so and a news score is kind of like their observation so like heart rate blood pressure saturations oxygen levels so if someone we can check those regularly. The nurses check someone's OBS, so their observations. If those are bad, they can give them a score. The higher the score, you know, if it's like, I think it's nine and above, then they have to put out the arrest call and we'd all run to the patient and see what was going on. But yeah, we didn't have a single one of those today, which was interesting. Yeah, I hope that's kind of shown you more what my life is like, I guess, and what I do and what I'm up to. Today was all right. We had enough breaks, you know, it was, it, it was a nice team and stuff, so yeah that's kind of it i don't really know if i can make that more interesting sorry if you expected some drama but honestly like number one a lot of this stuff is confidential and i can't film while, I w while i'm at work number two if there is an arrest call i'm not going to be grabbing my vlogging camera out to film it i'm going to be going to help the patient and um, but hopefully i can just explain to you and that and that's enough um so yeah sorry that there aren't any theatrics i wanted to just give a realistic idea of what it's like to be on call and today was pretty chill today was all right um it was busy definitely busy to begin with but i think a lot of being on call especially on ward cover a lot of it is just firefighting realizing what is urgent and what's not urgent and so sometimes it is almost a case of you're filtering things for what is actually needed now and to be done and the more that you do that for me having done this for what am i going into my third year now um I'm quite comfortable doing that. I'm quite comfortable saying, that's not urgent, that does not need to be done today. Whereas the F1, so the junior that I was working with today, um, was a little frazzled at times. But again, that's what I was like two years ago. So you definitely do get a lot more comfortable and just a lot more. And then you can just enjoy it really, kind of, I say, as I look like I've been dragged through a bush and cannot wait to get home. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to go. Um, thank you so much for watching another day of September and for doing this journey called life with me i love you guys so much i will see you in my next video let me know what you want my next video to be love you so much bye oh i shouldn't have come closer that is not my best look <laughs>